Hi everyone, this is CJ Allison, founder of Plot Your Work. Today I'll be discussing a new product with you called Plot Your Health, a journey to wellness planner. I designed this to help people track all of the details associated with severe and chronic health concerns. Years ago, I was battling uh, lupus with five autoimmune diseases, uh, Lyme disease, uh, Bartonella, Babesia, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Murine Typhus, uh, two forms of walking pneumonia, and then I also had issues with kidney uh, damage and liver damage. So I wish I had had something like this back then when I really needed to track everything. The stuff, the amount of things that the doctors asked me to track was so much it was difficult to stay on top of. So I designed this for a friend of mine battling Lyme disease. I knew exactly what she needed when she asked for it. Ironically, while the product was being beta tested, my own lupus returned. So now I'm using it to track my own health concerns and today I'm going to show you how I set it up and how I go about using it on a day-to-day -day basis. Here we are with my filled out Plot Your Health, a journey to wellness planner. This is a three month tracking notebook. I've dated mine from June to August, 2018. On the back, we have a little bit of a description of what the planner is used for. Uh, why it was developed. And we also have the address to the Facebook group and the sizing. We will have smaller sizings later. This is done like a half page size, a little bit smaller than that at five and an eighth by eight and a quarter. Let's open it up and see what we've got here. On this side, we have all of what we would call like our vital information, who the notebook belongs to, a phone number for people to reach you at if you happen to misplace it somewhere. If you are a child in a hospital and you need to have your guardians listed here for quick contact, uh, also, emergency contacts if something was to happen to you. Preferred hospital, your patient number for when you're in the hospital. Your primary care physician, specialist, preferred pharmacy, and allergies. Anything else that you feel that you want to have as a first glance, get to quickly information, you put down here at the bottom. Over here, daily affirmations. I put some things in here that I felt would be helpful for people to read through and remember, such as attitude is everything. If you think you won't get better, you won't. Alrighty, moving on, we have the record areas of the book. This is the first few pages. After that, it's all the tracking stuff. So these two pages are condition details. I have currently listed five of my autoimmune diseases. There's room for 12 uh, different conditions that you need to list. I don't recommend you listing old ones that you've beaten. I recommend you listing what you're going through right now. Moving on to the next two pages. You'll, this is a medication and supplement record that is repeated for two more pages so that you have a total of 24 medications and supplements that you can list. Only put down what you're currently taking. It really doesn't help if you put down something you took six months ago unless it's something that you're worried about, like a reoccurring symptom that is related to something for six months after you take it. These four pages, we then go to what we call the monthly tracking areas. Each monthly spread like this is undated. Do yourself a favor and actually look at the calendar before you start writing so you don't screw up the top like I did. I've put on here just what I have for medical stuff, such as doctor appointments, or if I was to have physical therapy appointments, or acupuncture, anything that I felt, you know, alternative therapies, chiropractor, I would list those appointments here. Okay. Uh, doctor wellness visits. Um, you would have information here such as who the provider is, the date and time of your appointment, where the appointment is and the phone number, questions to ask. You're gonna fill this in throughout the whole course of the month whenever you have a question. The notes that you have here from your visit hopefully will answer the questions that you had. And then if you have any tests needed, you're gonna write that down here to make sure you do them before your next appointment. And then write down your next appointment. There's two of these per month. If you have more than that, you could put one on the next line page or later on there's some line pages too you could use. So there is space for this if you have more doctor visits. But let's say you have other appointments that are not necessarily doctor visits that you still need to track. We're gonna call those treatment and therapy record. You're gonna have it written down here. This lined page over here, I decided to use as a medication log. After uh, that, we're going to tracking pages. The first two in each month are set up for symptoms. I write all the symptoms that I wanna track, and then on a scale of one to 10, I track them per day. After the symptom type pages, we have the medication and supplement pages. Because earlier in the book, we had room for 24, I listed three pages for this to make sure you'd have plenty of space. The first four spots here have room for three medication times per day. Not all of your medications you need to take more than once or twice. So if you only have once a day, fill in the time and check it off. If you have more pills that you need to take than are listed here, split one of these that are two of them and put a line down there and make it so that you can have one pill you know, for each medication. If you have two pills a day, then obviously don't split it in half. You, you, know, you make this the way that you need to to cover for 31 days. 
That's the whole point is it's supposed to help you track so that you can start to see a pattern of, gee, I forgot those pills those days and wow, let me look back at my symptoms. I actually did feel crappy. You know, you can keep track of what's working and what isn't. That's really what the whole goal is. After the medication and supplement tracker, we have a mood tracker legend. This was done at user request. They wanted to have something fun to color, kind of like an adult coloring book. Okay, moving on from this, the next two tracking grids are blank. For me, I decided to use these for self-care and for foods I was tracking. But you can see up here, it says reading, sleep, food, or habit tracking, whatever you need. Readings are things like if you're diabetic and you need to have the uh, blood sugar readings for eight times of the day, you'd write down the time of the day, and then you'd use these first eight columns for that tracking. Uh, I mentioned earlier, if you needed more space for a doctor's appointment or any other note taking, this is where you would do it. At the end of each month are two blank pages. If you wanted to have this as a gratitude section, there's enough lines here for you to be able to do two lines for each day of the month, and you could put in what you're grateful for each day. If you were gonna be in the hospital, this is a suggestion a friend of mine had, you could write down the days of the month here, and then you could write rounds and write in the doctors that you saw that day, so that if you do have a question later on on a certain, you know which day of the week, which doctor you spoke to in regards to that, that issue that came up. And then you'll see it's repeated like this for the next two months, all the same. Back of the book, this is the only difference you'll see with the remainder of the pages, and it's where we have all of our test results, scans, blood work, whatever you have that was done. You have a test, you need the date you had it, the results, and if you have any follow-up. Okay, I know I was speaking fast, but I wanted this to go quickly so that we didn't take up too much of your time. Wishing you the very best on your journey back to wellness, and we hope that this planner helps you get there.